It's stupid. So you don't just change the battery, you change the whole stupid thing? It's expired, so you gotta change the whole thing. Do we have another one? Our evening in Las Cruces was not as well rested as I would have preferred. With the time difference, it was difficult to fall asleep. The road noise from the nearby freeway didn't help. It wasn't as much as we had in Mesa, but definitely a lot more than these princess sleepers would have preferred. There were two trains throughout the night. One was in the middle of the night and the other was in the very early morning hours. A rainstorm also passed through around 11 p.m. and lasted a few hours, so that was awesome. Let's not forget about our carbon monoxide detector that started chirping way too freaking early in the morning. What we like about this RV park is that they have their sites set up so that each rig pulls in the opposite of the other. That way nobody has sewer pipes as their front porch view. They have small fences every other so your front porch is fenced and feels somewhat private. They had a nice size building that had a small gift shop. They have showers, a patio with a fireplace, and a large hot tub. The hot tub was nice and hot, but if we're being honest here, it wasn't as clean as I would have preferred, and my skin was a little itchy when we got out. And if you have fur babies, they have a large dog park area. So if you're not too light of a sleeper, Hacienda RV Resort might be the place for you. Read the captions for more information.